Here we have an abandoned railroad crossing on Indiana State Route 60 in Leipzig, I think it's pronounced, Indiana. Uh, there's actually a visor down there, but which would have been from that. But we got a pair of old, I want to say L and N signals, and as you can see, they're pretty well damaged. But here's the first signal. We got a clamp style base. Here's the emergency information. The crossing is 345147E, milepost 00Q267.23. Here's the dot tag. Then the lights on this signal are four pairs of Modern Industries lights. Most of them are 12 by 20. Well, actually, yeah. Most of them are 12 by 20s, as you can see here. Here's a dangling wire. But one is a 12 by 24. And that guy's damaged, as we just saw. But over here, and also on top, we got a Modern Industries mechanical bell, which are pretty uncommon in Indiana, especially in service. But over here, we got the gate mast, which is quite neat. We got a fabricated metal base. We got some wind shards, probably from that one damaged light. And we got a GRS gate mechanism. And as you can see, the gate here got snapped off. I almost wonder if this crossing somehow activated or something. And a truck, such as that one, ripped it off. I mean, it, I don't know, because it looks... Yeah, it probably got ripped off. But, um, here's the tracks. Just got one track here. And it's getting super rusty. If I didn't say it already, this is on the CSX Hoosier sub. That's looking west towards the town of Leipzig, as well as Mitchell, Bedford, and eventually it becomes ripped up, but it goes to uh, Green Castle and eventually even Chicago. But then there it becomes active again and becomes CSX Milan sub. And that's east towards uh, New Pekin, Salem, uh, New Albany. In New Albany, they're re revitalizing a portion. But other than that, there's nothing happening down there. Just small portions getting put back up there. And then over here we have the second signal. It's in better shape than the first. Got some wiring cut there. Yeah, this crossing's definitely dead. The one in Leipzig itself is still powered. But we got a clamp style base again. We got half of an ENS sign. You still see it has the dot number, the mile post with the dot numbers long gone. Then up here we got some Modern Industries and Safe Tran lights. That one's completely half broken lens. These guys are okay. That one's popping out. And there's the other Modern Industries light. And then there's the Safe Tran 12 by 24, which has a bent background. Reminds me of 56th Street in Indianapolis. And then here we have the gate mast. Which is a modern, which has a modern industries base, another GRS gate mechanism, and this one still has its gate arm. It's got some older style Rico gate lights, as you can see. So yeah, and over here, here's a better look at track view. Uh, East. And it appears there's actually another semaphore down there with its arm taken off. Yeah, definitely. Looks like the other one. There should have been a second one, so I think it's gone. But here's the relay case, which as far as I can see is completely off. And also we got a knockdown down telegram, telephone pole, one of those. <clears throat> there's another look at that signal. Yeah, that looks healthy. But over here, here's the relay case again. And I'll show you the other side. Yeah, at least this, I don't think those poles are even, yeah, look at that. Those ones I don't even have wires anymore. So I guess that's good. Here's the back side. Yeah, this case is definitely off. Maybe. Yeah, I think I can actually hear something again. Yep, this one's actually still 
got noise coming out of it too but this one I don't feel any heat coming out of so I'm not sure what's going on there but yeah and again here's this uh, telephone pole that got brutally knocked down I don't even know how that happened because like how would you possibly knock it down it was over there <laughs> but I'm gonna quickly run over to the other signal again here's the grade it's concrete and yeah, and there's nothing with the modern industry from Canada Belt. The reason I even came here, to be honest. But the entire crossing is pretty nice. And honestly, I'll probably just take this visor. Free to take. I'll do that in a minute. But here we have the abandoned railroad crossing on Indiana State Route 60 in Leipzig, Indiana. Over and out.